Good evening, dear Toastmasters, <laughs> friends, guests, and His Excellency Francois Xavi Lezay. Uh, I think I got that clear uh, right. Yeah. Somewhere there. It's great <laughs> enough. <laughs> we all live in this world of colors, beauty. We all were these, what you are seeing there in the screen right now. These are nothing but bacteria, viruses, fungus, which is where we all come from. We all were single-celled animal. Now we become this complex animal. According to Weizmann Institute uh, from Israel, there's just a recent study updated on the number of virus in different parts of our body. Do, can you imagine how much bugs are there in our gut alone? Yes. Hundred trillion. Hundred trillion. In our skin that we wash and get clean every day. You know how many bugs are there? One trillion. It is much lesser than what we heard earlier, but one trillion enough is quite a lot. And as a dentist, I can tell you, in a mouth that is clean, in a tooth that is clean, you find 10,000 to 100,000 bugs in one tooth, in a clean mouth. And in a dirty mouth, the same thing goes to from 1 billion, 1 million to 1 billion. So mouth is another, much more than the population of the planet. Now, if we look at it, how this, how this, these, all these bugs are kept in control is by two guys our secret service agents, and our army inside our body. They're always working for us to keep us safe from all these attacks from other guys who are unfriendly or unknown to us till then. Once it's known, they'll find a new missile and kill it. But until it's known, it's a disaster. Ladies and gentlemen, mm. right now, we are in a crux of really getting worried about something called virus. Now what is a virus? It's a biological entity. It's not even a living organism like bacteria. It can actually live in a bacteria. It is 200 times smaller than a bacteria. If you look at your hair, your hair will be around 60,000 to 100,000 nanometers. A bacteria is 20 to 400 nanometers. And the smallest, I'm sorry, the virus is 20 to 400 uh, nanometers. And the bacteria, the smallest bacteria that we know to mankind is 400 nanometers. Hmm. Now, this person who found the virus in 1898 from Russia, uh, he, after he found that in 1898 till today, we've been able to find out around 5,000 species of bacteria. We have been able to know more about them. But there's so much more because viruses are the ones that are overpopulated in the world, in abundance, in everything. Plants, animals, name it, everywhere, they're there. So if you look at it in the, in the picture here on your, the colorful ones is your common flu virus. The ones in the middle, is a measles virus. The one that is there is the rabies virus. So you all know how you get it there. That you may get, get through the airborne, so that you come in contact. Measles, as a child, you must have remembered given shots on for that, MMR. Rabies, you know the animal, animals bite, or the dog, or the mad dog bites, so you get rabies vaccine. This is herpes, which is quite common. Uh, it can be transmitted sexually. HIV virus looks like that, beautifully colorful. <laughs> and you have the, the hepatitis virus, which is there. So look at them. They are an entity with projections which help them to adhere to one another, to our body surfaces. Uh, there you go. Sorry. It's virus problem, not mine. It's the virus which did it. Now today, why are we worried about these viruses? Just because of this virus, this particular virus, which is known as coronavirus. 
coronavirus is called corona because it's got a crown in it and it's around 100 nanometers so far we don't know how big it is yet but we think it's 100 nanometers in and how was it transmitted we still don't know what exactly happened but it actually started coming from the bats they say and bats to human transmission caused by humans doing things like these and things like that and that's why things like that is happening all over the world right now <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it is a bigger problem rather than the virus becoming pandemic it's something called infodemic Infodemia is causing me bigger problem in the world. The last yesterday, the crude oil went below 50. Chinese traders have gone. Whole world's uh, markets are going down, <laughs> crashing. And mind you, tourism and sports are the biggest one to be affected. I did a bit of research and. What is this virus? Because talking about pandemic, when we talk about WHO is just <laughs> considered it as global crisis, so did a little bit of research. Bird flu killed almost 52% of people who got affected, whereas Ebola killed 39%. And your MERS, which just came Middle Eastern <laughs> Respiratory Syndrome, killed 34%, whereas SARS killed 3.9.6%. But this one is killing just 2%. But you know what's scarier? Because the way it's infecting more people. If you look at just now, five o'clock data, this is, we have 24,623 cases, and out of that, the 493 are dead. And, well, we may not have to worry again, because influenza flu, normal flu, kills around 290,000 to 650,000 people a year. Yeah, yes, WHO data. Yeah. Uh, which you can see in the thing there. I think there, there's a thing. I, I, there is a. If you want the more data, I can I can give you the, the things in there. Uh, this is the coronavirus. How it's been going. The what is scarier is 3,220. If you look at the 24,623, 13 percent of the people affected are in a serious condition right now. In a ventilator or things like that, 13%. Well, 2% is the rate of thing, and the cases are increasing day by day. Simple measures that I wanna to talk to you about today is simple thing which we practiced, but we forgot to practice today in our mm -hmm. Toastmasters itself. Mm -hmm. Guys, the, it's all in your hands. Toastmasters, we love to shake our hands. Please, let's refrain from <laughs> shaking hands for a while. Let's, Namaste is a very good greeting world and we actually, I had posted this in the Toastmaster International and they have adopted in many clubs meeting as well. Mm -hmm. Another thing is hand washing. Hand washing is very important, but I see a lot of us going to the loo and doing their business and just touching the water, especially in the cold weather. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> you touch your thing and you just touch the water, it's not gonna work. You have to wash it. You wash it everywhere, okay? Second thing, and, and mind you, we also use hand sanitizers. Hand sanitizers are great, but hand sanitizers don't take everything away. So we have to wash with water, but unfortunately water itself is so contaminated in our situation. So carry hand sanitizers like this. You can take a bit and take a lot, not too much also, and take it around your hand and go like that. I see a lot of ladies going, little bit sad. Uh, done. No, not like that. You gotta go really in. This will work. This will work, ladies and gentlemen. Next thing is coughing. I see a lot of coughing being done. It's a, it's a style, you know, like it's a, it's a good thing to do because morals, you know, that's what we've been taught in school. <laughs> Sorry. Hands are the problems. We have to use our elbow. Um, <coughs> So nose is closed, thing. nobody touches you here. So you try to transmit this virus much lesser. And of course, the favorite Nepalese habit of nose picking. You see, they make a dallo out of that. No more of that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not do that. Another thing is about mask. We talk about mask, and we wear those surgical masks. As a dentist, we use it 24, I mean, all the time when we're working. It doesn't work. 
it's okay but normally but it doesn't work because it's got holes in there and if you look at the virus itself it's around 0.1 uh, uh, the, the microns this one will work for around 0 0.2 0 0.3 only this one I'm talking about forget the normal surgical mask that doesn't work at least this will prevent so when you're going to a bigger mass and things like that or public transport things like that use a mask like n95 respirator with with a seal all around there that will help you and this virus is also found to be transmitted through the saliva going to the eyes so conjunctival uh, could be another thing so wearing a specs is a good idea when you go to the mass and of course the dirtiest thing in our in our everybody all of you have the dirtiest thing in your pocket right now or anywhere that's the dirtiest thing because I know you are sitting there in the pot and playing with that and you bring the same thing and you you know it's always there this needs to be disinfected as well ladies and gentlemen so last week we did this so beautifully we had his Excellency's son Louis there uh, and uh, even we changed him so I think as humans if we start changing our habits a little bit we can actually fight this disaster much better and why not this a Japanese bow which is so beautiful little distance and thing sorry I'm I know I don't I disqualify from everything but, but I thought this is more important that uh, yeah. In, in, the, in the day when, if you want me to stop, I can stop here. No, 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 no. Uh, another thing, a biggest problem is the xenophobia and racism that's going around. With 1.386 billion popula uh, people in China, we are considering every Chinese a coronavirus. <laughs> I, I just saw some uh, two Chinese girls walking in Tamil. And there were these boys sitting there, ah, oh, Corona. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I mean, <laughs> it's the same as telling Nepalese who were in Haiti, who shot on that river and killed thousands of people, cholera, cholera. <laughs> How would you feel? How would you feel as a human being? Let's not do such thing and please help to. Uh, you know, like these kind of fake news and this kind of xenophobia away from the social media. As of today, right now, around 0.0017% of Chinese are affected by this. And we should not blame the entire China for that. And ladies and gentlemen, after all, at the end, I would like to say it's all in your hands. Clean hands will save lives. Not just now, but for the long time. Thank you very much. Thank you.